Welcome to MSI 110 Quantitative Methods for Management. I'm Dr. Nicola Petty. I developed this course and I'm going to tell you how to make the most of it and pass. This course is designed to help build up your confidence and skills gradually so that when you meet the more difficult material at the end, you'll be able to master it. The course is based on the principles of mastery learning, which require that you master each step before moving on with the next one. This means passing every assessment at 80% or more. The first section is orientation. To pass this section you must complete the Excel exercise, the open test and the supervised test all with a mark of 80% or more. What do you mean by open test and supervised test? Well each section has an open test which you do in your own time anywhere you like using your notes and Excel. You can do the test as many times as you like. There is a bank of questions so that the test is different each time. People have been known to attempt the open test 20, 30 or even 60 times in order to feel confident with the material. The average is about 6 times through the open test for every time through the supervised test. You can work on these with a friend if you like. The supervised test however is set in a specific time and place without notes and you must provide ID. You may only set the supervised test if you have passed all required work at 80% or better. When you are ready to sit the supervised test, it will show as a 1 next to ready in your gradebook. You may sit the supervised test more than once, but generally only once in a day. If you do not pass, you need to go away and do some more preparation before trying it again. You need to book into a supervised testing session when you're ready to sit a supervised test. Also within different sections, you'll find other activities such as assignments, which must be done individually on Excel and submitted on Learn. And there are exercises, which are rather like tests in format, but are designed to teach you. In the orientation section, there is an exercise to teach some of the basics of Excel. In the skills section, there is an exercise teaching about percentages. So how do I learn the material? Good question. There are several different kinds of instructional methods which suit different people. To start with, it can be a good idea to have a quick look at the learning objectives in the open test to get an idea of the material in that section. Look at the lecture notes. If it all seems straightforward, start doing the assessment activities. If you run into difficulty, listen to the audio or watch the video while following along with the lecture notes and even copying what's happening in Excel. You can watch at whatever pace you like, pausing and going back over parts you might find tricky. This is how students in the past have done well in MSI 110. Look at whatever other resources there are. There are notes, YouTube videos and examples. These are all available on Learn and most of them were made especially for this course. But what if I like talking to people and need to ask questions? That's where the tutorials come in. You are expected to attend all tutorials and will not be permitted to sit the supervised tests if your attendance has not been satisfactory. For most people, the best learning does take place in tutorials, so we want to make sure you get the benefit of them. We have wonderful tutors who are keen to help you understand and master the material. Cool. How do I make sure I pass? Funny you should ask. The most important thing is to keep up. You may need to put in 12 hours a week or more to do this, or other students may wish to work very hard at the beginning and finish the course quickly. When we first started this course in 2007, we did not have any deadlines. This was a mistake. Most people procrastinate, and this is even worse than a subject that many people are not that excited about taking. Consequently, we now have many deadlines. You may miss one deadline, but you still need to do the work to catch up. Miss a second deadline, and you need to tell us why, and give us a plan for how you're going to catch up with your work. There is one deadline that is absolute, and that is the final deadline. If you have not completed all the sections by this deadline, you fail the course. The good news is, when you pass the final test, you know that you have passed the course. And you will feel confident that you have really mastered the material. Does that mean that everyone can pass? Yes, it does. If all the class gets through all the material in time, we will have a 100% pass rate. If you do the work, you can pass. It is that simple. For a number of students, this course is a life-changing experience. They start thinking that they are no good at maths, but as they work hard and succeed and develop confidence and skills, they find that they enjoy the course and have a real sense of achievement at the end. Some even go on to do more subjects like it. We hope that you will enjoy your time with us and make the most of the resources that we provide for you to learn and pass.